the thinker won't understand. He who is in a state of pure awareness, is so, while free of thoughts. In this state the path has lights shining brightly upon it. Everything is reflective in this state. It's completely experiential. Free of thought, as in aware of but not participating in. Being in a state of pure awareness to the point of being aware of thoughts as fleeting, and not using the mind as usual, or as an apparatus to interact with them. Happiness is a state of mind, the state of mind, is not a result of things on the outside, for the mind is in control of the things on the outside as we are able to attach, detach, become involved or uninvolved with whatever we choose on, the outside. Using the mind consistently, to contrast this fact will attach the mind to this contrasted fact, thus imprisoning the mind in the state of contrasting the realization or actualization of this fact, which is that happiness is a result of choice, thought, and action based upon this choice, thought. To know, to will, to dare, to keep silent. The light within you will show you the truth of all things. Its results are the reproductions of itself in your world. Its results are the connections between yourself and the multitude of its reproductions. Your being transcends all that you can see. We are part of an eternally pregnant universe. Life and existence is motion. Matter in motion is vibrating. Be still and see this, verb. The choice is yours, pessimism or optimism. Choose one and decide for yourself if we will remain acquainted. The habitual nature of whichever of these two minstats you choose, will become all that you are, and spill out through all that you do. Unfairness to yourself equals unfairness to others, check thyself. Time is the ultimate contrast against seeing clearly past the ego, which is seeing in the present, with no attachments to yesterday or tomorrow. Do what you gotta do, live dangerously while you're still within the linear, because it will not last, create a story out of yourself. But, know thy limits. Normal is illusion, the machine always wants itself confirmed, and seeks to lure one's mind into compliance of this. A true thinker isn't captivated by group thought, trends and the norm. Ignore it, it's greedy and it's selfish, remain free. Only as unique individuals can we expect to see the light of life in its full grandeur. Don't wallow in the wake. There is no future, by the time you're experiencing any of it, you'll realize it's still today. The past is just more thoughts of today, the version called memories, and the future is just an idea, if it were to ever exist it would be in the form of today. Get over it. When you know your why, know that your how is out there. If you hold on to your why, your how will do its best to find you, when the two of you meet, don't stop. Love waits for no one. Good thing it lives within you. Share if you dare, and when it seems to break, remember it's okay. It's still there within you. Self-appreciation is utterly important in life, as others are only able to take you at your own valuation and self-appreciation's value lies in its ability to accentuate the self within, quickening one's path toward one's potential, success and accomplishments. Something to ask yourself. Is what you believe the result of an evolutionary thought contagion or the result of a conscious choice, based on compartmental deduction of it and its oppositions? Know thyself. The only things between you and what you want are your excuses. That's what I always tell myself, and excuses are the only things you can see when you take your eyes off what you want. So it's all on you, don't blame the excuses. That's being unfair to yourself. I never had to prove it to myself, myself proved it to me. When I didn't want it to. Which made me want to understand more, so I put conscious effort into understanding my role in it, and realized my responsibility in the events, that take place in my life. As I thinketh in my heart so is me. I remember what it was like to think and believe through what I was given and shown as opposed to what I found and took. It's not an easy transition, there is discomfort, hesitation, doubt, and fear. One must ask themselves, what do I really know, 